So today we're going to do a quick overview of the home screen for the Bartlett Instrument Genesis controller. So first we're going to power the controller on, and you see our logo flashing across now, and then we'll be at the home screen. So let's begin with the start button in the top left corner, and you'll press that to begin a firing, and you see we've got some options. So we can either start the firing now, start the firing later, or remote start using our KISS program. Next we've got the view edit button. So right now we're in novice mode so it'll read view, but when novice mode is turned off this button will read edit. But if we press the view button, we can view the currently loaded program in the controller. Next we've got the load button and this just allows you to load a new program into the controller. So when we're in novice mode, it'll take you through a series of questions to help you program the controller. Next we've got the menu button and you'll see things like the data menu, diagnostics, adjustments, configuration, restore presets, and the factory configuration. Then we've got the firing banner here at the top, and this will just tell you what the current firing status of the kiln is. So right now you can see we're in idle, and when the kiln's firing, it'll read firing across the top. Then we've got the programming banner here, and this just tells you what the currently loaded program is in the controller. So you can see right now we've got a ceramic bisque going to cone 04 at a medium slow speed. Finally we've got the status block here down at the bottom. And this will just give you a variety of information about the status of the kiln. As you can see it tells you the current temperature, the firing time, the set point, the segment, and it also indicates whether Wi-Fi is connected. Now if we press in this box it'll toggle to a new screen and we can see the current temperature for each individual thermocouple if you have more than one and the percentage of power to each element which is indicated under each corresponding thermocouple temperature and you can also see the set point temperature for the program. That's it for now but we'll explore each screen in more detail in additional videos. Remember to check our website for updates, like us on Facebook, and sign up for our e-newsletter for more information and tips. Thanks!